Watch this. I don't feel good. I don't feel good handing out water to people that live, that live in tents, dude. They live there. We have this illusion of scarcity that drives why we accept homelessness as something that just happens. It's unfortunate, but it's just a part of the system. There's not enough to go around. It's not true. And, and the street that I park my car that's safe to restock my water before I go back, government buildings, a couple churches. Like, I just don't get it. I don't get what is like broken about helping people. Like, I just don't get it. I don't get it. It's embarrassing to me that I live in a country or when I'm, when I'm wearing a t-shirt that says free water and a free hat, I have people that want to hold a knife to me to take the container of water. I'm not mad at them. That's just embarrassing that a country puts them in that position. It's embarrassing that people beg me for ice. It sucks. We are wasting so much water every single day and it's not like we don't have a solution for this. Products are labeled with water sense if they're 20% or more water efficient and perform as well or better than standard models. The average family can save 13 thousand gallons of water and $130 in water costs per year by replacing old inefficient toilets in their homes with water sense labeled models. Replacing old shower heads can reduce costs by $70 and save 2,700 gallons per year. People are begging this guy for water. Can you guess how much the average person drinks per year? 183 gallons. There are about 552,000 homeless people in the United States and there are 16 million vacant units in the United States. This is a problem that can be fixed. What we have is a resource allocation issue. Scarcity is an illusion entirely. We have more than enough to go around. And so he's absolutely right to say that he's embarrassed to live in a country like this because what is the government for if not to be the central force in which we collectivize and allocate our resources? The government is in the role of ensuring resources are effectively managed. That's why we have reservoirs and public water resources. We expect to be able to turn the faucet on and get water. We know this is something we can't do ourselves. We can't band together with five neighbors and ensure that we get water. We rely on the government to do this. And we live in a democracy, so theoretically, the government should be serving the people and ensuring our resources are managed effectively, and they're not doing that. This is the same country that put a man on the moon, developed nuclear technology, and is claiming to be able to cure cancer. I am sure that we can allocate our resources so that everyone has water to drink and a place to sleep.